Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product, uh, it's a very small PCB module, we call ATF, that means ESP32 SD card module. So this board also made by ESP32, you can use for Home Assistant uh, by ESP Home, because there are some free GPIOs, you can use it. And uh, it's mainly used by the SD card. So you can save your logo file to this SD card, or save your sensor data, or save your some different device data to your SD card. Just use this small module. Okay, let's look at this hardware design details. And look at my computer, and this is the web page of the ATF. And you can see this in front of the side of PCB, and this is insert the SD card, and this is the back. And later I will show you this PCB uh, in details. And you can see uh, some free GPIO uh, at here and at here. And this for analog signal. And this is for one wire sensor, such as you can use this DS DS18B20 temperature sensor or DHT11 or DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. So that you can save the sensor data to SD card. And maybe you can make an SD card record for sensor or record for something device. And there are some different uh, information. Yeah, ESP32 IO pin define schematic and YAML file for ESP home and Arduino source code. So this is the web service uh, from this small module. I just start demo. And many details you can see at here. The ESP32 pin define at here, ATF. Uh, because the SD card uses SPI bus and the free GPL, which free GPL you can use, yeah, all listed here. And uh, this is ESP Home, and this is write the Arduino code demo and uh, print information from the SD card, uh, the demo code. And we can look at, uh, this is the schematic, we also is open source this module. And the schematic at here, and you can download from King Kuni web page, uh, you can see at here the software document, and you will find the ATF, just at here, ATF module. Okay, and this, you can see the PCB, uh, this size, this size, and this size. And you can see uh, 3D mode, uh, just very small. Okay, let's look at uh, these details. Okay, let's look at this module, details. And you can see uh, this SD card, and you can use any different memory size SD card, just insert to this socket, uh, like this socket. And the USB part, and this is reset, ESP32 reset, and you can download the firmware by yourself. Just you can see, uh, this is my USB cable, and if I connect with it, with my PC, and this is power LED, so that can directly to use uh, its power from the USB cable. And you can, and you can see uh, this ESP32 chip, and this free GPIO you can connect with your device. And this has some 5 voltage and ground and IXT and TXT, so you can get information from some third part device, maybe you can print your third part logo uh, to the SD card, so that can save the logo file. And this GPL used for analog input uh, for sensor, and this is for one wire sensor interface, and you can connect with any different uh, one wire device. And this LED, and you can see uh, this back, and it's, uh, every pin define have print the label on the PCB, you can use directly. Okay, in future, maybe Kinkoni will use this small module in our Kinkoni controller to save the logo file or save some information or history date at this SD card. Okay, thanks for watching.